Hello everyone, I'm here with you with another topic today on Forex trading. Today we are going to talk about candlestick patterns. So let's see what topic we have for today. Okay, today we are going to talk about candlestick part 1 and it will talk about single candlestick pattern. So let's see what we have in it. So number 1, this is doji. So today we are going to discuss single candlestick pattern doji so this is how it looks like you can see it in the picture uh, just like a cross so let's see its more details so this is how the doji looks like this is the open price and this is the close price and it shows this indecision in the market meaning that buyers and sellers are equal and nobody's in control in doji doji candle whenever you see a doji candle in an oversold market, the doji has very bullish implications and in an overbought market, it has very bearish overtones. And if you look at the daily time frame, and if there is a doji candle, you see the price shows that the price closed at the price where it opened. So the price when it opened uh, early in the day, it closed at the same price. So this is how uh, doji candle appears and it shows indecision in the market. So now let's take a look at its structure. So this is how it looks like. This is the open and close and then see how it, the price moves. So it can move like first up, go to the upper week and then it can go all the way to the bottom. And then from there on, it goes to this level and closes at the same price. Uh, in another scenario, uh, the price opens and then goes down uh, to the bottom week. And then from there on, it goes all the way to the uh, upper week and then from there it comes back and closes at the same level where it had opened so you see it can have two movements but the price where it opened it closes at the same level so that's why we call it doji or indecision so we also have some other doji signals let's look at them this is gravestone doji this is how it looks like and then we have dragonfly doji is the reverse of gravestone and then we have a long leg doji this is how it looks like and trading with other doji signals is same as with the original doji signal so let's now look at them in more detail so this is how we have these three gravestone and dragonfly and long leg so let's see how the price moves so this is where for the gravestone doji the price opens here and closes over here so this is how it happens the price opens and then it goes up the buyer take the price to the top of the upper week and then the sellers take the price down to the uh, at the same level where it had opened and it, it impact will be downwards if the price keeps on moving okay dragonfly doji so this is where it opens and then it closes so price opens up here and then the sellers take the price down to the bottom of the lower week and then from there on the buyers take the price back to where it had opened so it opens and closes at the same level then we have a long leg in the same way uh, this is where the price opens and then from there on so in the dragonfly doji the impact will be uh, on the upper side so in the long leg doji the price opens and then the buyer take the price to the upper level of the week and then the sellers take the price down to where it had originally started so it opens and closes at the same level so it impact will be downwards where the price will keep on moving okay so this is how we have some more detail for the other doji signals so in all these cases the price closes where at the level where it had opened so now let's look at the other forms of doji which is hammer so this is how the hammer looks like this is like a bearish hammer this is a white bullish hammer so now let's look at how the price moves in this kind of doji so this is where the price opens here in hammer so the price opens and the seller take the price down to the bottom of the lower way and then from there on the buyers take the price up till this point where it is clo it closes so what happens that time ends here and the price closes here so it will have its impact on the other direction other direction of the week so this is the original week the impact of the price will be opposite so it will have its impact on the other side of the week 
and we call it a weak impact because then in this case the buyer has to cover this distance because the price closed over here and then the buyer has to cover all this distance so we call it a weak impact now let's take a look at the bullish hammer so this is where the price opens then and the black hammer is not as powerful as compared to the white hammer and then let's take a look at the white hammer so white hammer hammer look, looks like this the same way as the black hammer the only difference is the price opens up here and closes up here so let's see how the price moves so it goes down the bottom of the week the seller take the price down and then from there on the buyers take the price up and this is where the price closes so in this case we will have an impact on the upper side and we call it a strong impact and the white hammer is more powerful than the black hammer all right and the hammer signals uh, well in bullish reversal and in bullish continuation it's, it's, a, it's a kind of a practice okay now we have inverted hammer the reverse of hammer the inverted hammer so this is how uh, the inverted hammer looks like the body is on the bottom and the wick is on the upper side so let's see how the price moves here so over here when the price opens the buyer takes the price to the upper level of the wick and then from there on the seller take the price down to the closing level this is where the price stops and we will have its impact downwards and time ends here but the sale pressure is still on and we call it a strong impact now let's look at it at the um, bullish uh, inverted hammer so this is where the price opens and the buyer take the price to the upper level of the wick and from there on the seller bring the price down and price closes over here and it impact will be downward toward this side and we call because the time ends here uh, we call it a weak impact because the seller has to cover all this distance because it opens up here and closes up over here so the seller still has to cover this distance so we we call it a weak impact and black hammer uh, will be more powerful in inverted hammer because it gives a strong impact where the price will move or where the price impact will be more likely and the hammer signals well in bearish reversal and in bearish continuation okay and now at the end we have spinning top and spinning bottom this is how it looks like it's a, a white body and a black body we call it a bullish and bearish so they look like in this way so what are these its impact it just like doji uh, spinning tops have a body and doji does not have a body that's the only difference okay and if spinning tops appear they don't have any meaning or they don't tell us anything it's just like a neutral situation or a neutral scenario and the contractual reading of the spinning tops tops will be will determine which way the trend will move just like the contextual reading of doji candle so i have explained that in another video the contextual reading of the candlestick so its contextual reading will be same as the doji candle all right okay guys that's about it i hope you like the video i will see you next time for now have a good day bye bye